And the, the press, but to go back to the press thing, because you, 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 as I say, you came out of it badly. We don't, I, we don't need to get into the campaign. Let's talk about the press, yeah. the fact of the matter, as well, opposed I, to the I, I decided, I was like, I was told by these lawyers until I gave them up, don't say anything, don't do this, it, it, conduct is everything in the divorce. Da, da, yeah. da. And I was like, but it's not true, and it's all lies, and I, I can prove it's not. And, and they were like, no, say nothing. And, um, and it turned out that it became repetitive. So when did you snap and say, I've had enough? After 5,500 articles of lies and death threats, and on my daughter's birthday party, which was the third party that was ruined, they wrote, Mucker kills dog. And I was like, what? And I'm an animal lover. So I investigated it, found out that the newspaper had paid a local woman some money to say her dog was killed by my daughter's party noise. And uh, I investigated. The dog had been dead for 48 hours. What was, the most, what was the most hurtful thing that kept coming up again and again about you in the press? Um, the charity work. Saying what? Saying um, quiz cash probe. That's what gets on your nerves particularly. Uh, but there was an, uh, uh, the GMTV interview you did when you went on, you said that yeah. you were treated you know, worse than a murderer or a paedophile. Well, you they said in the newspaper, they said the three most hated people in Britain, Heather Mills, Gary Glitter and Osama Bin Laden. I mean, how can you compare a charity campaigner who fell in love with someone and had to get out of the relationship for reasons I won't talk about to protect my daughter, how can you say that in a line? It's like, what kind of irresponsible journalism is that?